I want you to recall an ad that you recently saw on social media. Let's say, for example, you are looking for a headset. You saw this ad on Facebook, and you decided to click on this ad, and it brought you to a landing page. And after reading the entire copy, you find that this is the right product for you. Then you pull out your credit cards and buy. Now, have you ever wonder why it can cause you to make this impulse action? Because the copy that you saw is a good copy, and a good copy does three things: it is to capture your attention, attract you to read the entire offer, and influence you to take action. Now, what makes a good copy? Today, I'm going to share with you five tips of what makes a good copy. And let's say if you are a business owner or marketer, or you want to sell certain product. To the marketplace, this is the video that you need to see. Let's deep dive in right now. Tip number one: use short sentences. You don't need to have a huge chunk of paragraph to describe one particular idea. All you need to do is to break it down your paragraph into one, two, or even maximum three sentences. You must make sure that your sentences are easy to read and understand by a complete layman, and avoid any jargons. So let's say if you want to make a good copy, always remember to keep your sentences short and concise, and make it easy to read. Tip number two: use specific numbers. Let's say if you visited a website that sells coaching services. And you saw this information that says, "I have helped five thousand job seekers from all over the world to transform their lives." Do you think it's more believable, or maybe you can tweak it in a way that says, "I have helped five thousand one hundred and thirty-seven job seekers from over one hundred and thirty-five countries to transform their lives." So as you can see, there's a big difference in terms of specificity. Let's say if you want to have a good copy, always remember to be specific in your numbers so that you can make it more believable than round off numbers. Tip number three is to tell your audience exactly what are they going to benefit in your headline. I'm referring to the big idea, or you can call it the big benefit that your target audience will give. As you know, eighty percent of the readers. Read your headline and 20% read your copy. So that's why it's very important to capture your audience attention by using a benefit-driven headline. For example, you can say, "Save one hour a day with these three productivity hacks." So I'm very specific of what my target audience will gain. But in this case, it's called "Save one hour a day." So if you want to draw your target audience attention, Give a big idea in your headline. Tip number four is to use urgency and scarcity. People will not be motivated to take action unless there's an urgency behind it. Let's say, for example, if you are selling a training class, you can set a specific date to end your offer. For example, the enrollment for this course will end on thirty first December. And we are limited to only the first twenty pack who sign up. So by doing that, you are actually creating an urgency and scarcity to leave your audience no choice but to act now. Tip number five, which is the last tip, is to write a strong lead in your first sentence. You need to give a reason why your audience should read your next paragraph. For example, you can throw in a question to create an open loop. Or maybe you can write an incomplete sentence and preframe your audience of what to expect next. Let's say if you are a great storyteller, you can always tell a captivating story to draws their attention, and that's what makes a good copy. I hope this video can give you an idea of what makes a good copy. You can use these tips and start capturing your audience's attention, attract them to your offer. And influence them to take action. If you like this video, click on the subscribe button below and leave me a comment and share with me 
what kind of new topics that you are interested with so that I can produce more of this video just to benefit you. Well, that's all for now and I'll see you in my next video.